Setting up a new Wi-Fi mesh system is actually a pretty straightforward affair. It's not complicated at all. It all it involves in installing an app on your phone and following the instructions, to be honest with you. That's the first thing that we have to do. And in the UK, there isn't much. Uh, all there is is uh, there's two, basically, and I, the, it's TT Router. That's the one I'm looking for, so I'm just going to install that now. And there you go, that was about a very, very quick. So now it's just asking me to create an account. Okay, and we're, all, we're in now. So it says here, click here for help. What is a modem? I have no modem. Uh, basically, you all have a modem. If you've got an ISP, like my router here, this is the uh, Virgin Media's router, and it's a router slash modem or router. I'm just going to call it a router from now on, slash modem. Now, what you normally would have to do when you're setting up a mesh Wi-Fi system like this is to make sure that it's set up in modem mode. You do not have to do that. I am actually running two Wi-Fi networks at the moment on my, on my system. One actually goes through that. It's a 2.4 gigahertz only. So I did change it to 2.4 gigahertz only. And my 5 gigahertz goes through this. And also, well, my 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz goes through the Orbi system. So I'm, I'm fully intending to do the exact same thing. Now, why have I got 2.4 on its own? It's very handy for setting up smart plugs because they all use that 2.4. And I know if I put my phone into that network, then I can set it up that way and it'll always be connected regardless what happens with the Orbi. Okay, so that's just a little tip for you. So another thing, if you put that into modem mode, put your ISP into modem mode only, and if something goes wrong with your Wi-Fi, you are stuck. You cannot get onto your phone or anything. And that's what happened to me. So I had to phone up my ISP, Virgin Media, and set it. They had to had to do it their end so that my router then could go back onto uh, a Wi-Fi network. It was really crazy. It really uh, set me up. It kind of messed me up a wee bit. So that's why I advised not putting it onto modem mode, just in case if you've got any problems. You can always go online, um, you know, to to um you know ask for help and things like that you know troubleshoot which i'm trying to see right okay so let's begin uh, it's telling us what we'll need and it's the moment it's telling me to power off my modem which is this here it says power off your modem and remove the backup battery if it has one disconnect your old router from the modem before moving on okay so that's what we have to do so just a case of Powering it off, and what I will do is disconnect this because what? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm leaving it like so, and on to the next step. Basically, plug in your devices. Connect your modem to the WAN port. Connect your modem and TT West power source. And it says piss, power, so basically you turn it on. Right, so I'm just going to take one of these. I'm just wondering if this power button here will actually fit into this one. Oh, it does actually. There we go. So I can actually use, just temporarily, I can use the power point uh, for my Orbi. Okay. Right, so all I have to do then is just plug this Ethernet cable uh, that I had already into the WAN port. And then switch it on, which I've done. Okay, so then we just go next. Uh, wait for about two minutes for your modem to start up. And um, basically just plug it in. Depending on your router, this can take a while. Mine takes, it doesn't take two minutes, it takes five to ten minutes for mine to start up again. So 
I'm just going to cut it now and wait till this boots up again. Okay, that took a long time, at least five minutes, if not longer. Uh, my light is stable, that's what it's asking me. So I can now click onto the fourth step. It's asking if that is green and flashing, it is. So I can go on uh, to the next step. Would like to use a Bluetooth on my phone, so I'd say yes. Now it's searching for my device. Okay, device searched and we are good to go. So we've got a green tick, that's always good. Uh, let's crack on. Right, so select room, easy device management. Now this is in the living room, so I'm just gonna call this living room, simple as that. And go into the next step. And now it's, the router is connecting to the network. Please set the WAN connection type provided by USB. So basically it's, it's seeing if it's that is connected to that, which we've already done that. So we'll just give it a few seconds and there we go. It is now done. So I can just uh, click on the next stage. Congratulations, you're really successful to the internet. How simple is that? That was really, really simple. Now it's asking for a Wi-Fi name. So what I'm gonna call this is Double Whopper. and it's asking for a password. I've never actually seen you set up your own password before, uh, but I'm just gonna put in my password. And that is fine. Click on done and then create. And now it's a creating a Wi-Fi network. It says the process should take about two minutes. Still flashing green. Now imagine if that flashes a regular color. <laughs> if I remember rightly what color it's supposed to go. Right, TT Router wants to join Wi-Fi network double whopper. I would say join. Okay, uh, so now I have to click on settings on my phone desktop and click to my, my network basically. Uh, it's now, my phone's asking me, would you like to find and connect devices? Yes, definitely. That enables any device to actually find the network. So what I have to do is then go into my settings. I'm already connected into Double Whopper, which is good. And that's it, as far as I know, we're done. We are absolutely done. So what I'm gonna do now is I don't know how to get back into my network. What I'm going to do is a quick uh, go back into the, the app. It just seems to be stuck on that. Click WLEN to connect to Wi-Fi network. Well, I'm connected to Double Whopper, so I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Anyway, let's do a quick speed check. And let's see what speed we're doing. At the moment we're getting our full speed. It's over 3.33.50. Well, it's actually increased the speed. We're now getting a full, wow, 3.76, So it actually increased it by a little bit there. It can vary. So I'm not really taking much into that. I, I'm, I'm, my internet speed will vary. Sometimes I can go over 400. So that is good though. Upleads, upload is 36.9, download is 380. Right, so this one's set up. Now what I need to do is set up the next one or the next two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into this app. So it's Wi-Fi network success created, I've done that, and I want to add another West mesh router, so I'm just gonna click on that. Uh, it wants to use my location, so I'm just gonna say allow while you 
Um, hold your mobile phone and move. The area covered indication will indicate the best location for your device. Okay, well, I am going to take this and I'm going to plug it in in the next room. But my wife's working there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up in there and I'm going to show you the one upstairs in my office. So I'm going to do this one first. Okay, I've uh, successfully set up the other satellite through in uh, the family room or my wife's office at the moment. What I'm going to do now is head up into my office and set up the last one. Just uh, ignore the background, I'm getting the bathroom done. Hopefully you can't see that. Right, so, okay, right. I've set it up, all I've done is plug it in. So all we have to do is turn it on. Now, the light at the top should flash green. At the moment, it is white. Now, how to get it green is, if it doesn't go green straight away, you press the reset button, which is at the back, which is here. And look, and I managed to get mine done without actually poking anything into it, but maybe it takes a few moments for it to flash a green. So that's what we'll do. We'll just give it a couple of minutes. We are now flashing a green. So I'm going to go back onto my phone now. Right, so I'm at the stage where I have to add another mesh Wi-Fi. This is very good actually, it says check inst location for installation. Now, as long as that stays on the okay or in the green, when we're okay, then you're, you're fine to set up your satellite. Now, if it goes into the red, it's too far and you need to move it closer to the router, which is down in my living room, okay? Now, it's moving around as you see, so we're actually good to go, so it shows you it does actually work. And now I'm gonna click on yes, install new device. All you gotta do is make sure it's plugged in. And uh, then what it's gonna do, it's gonna do a little search for it. So, search new node. And it's gonna search for the new device. As long as that is flashing green, then we are okay. It's still flashing green, and there we go. It's uh, detected, and it's simple as that. Uh, and then we just got to give it a name, YouTube Studio. <laughs> In fact, Office, I think that's better. And click on Next. Successfully added, there we go. So I don't have any more nodes or satellites, so I'm just gonna click done. And now we're setting up router, so please wait. It'll take about three minutes. Right, I'm not connected to double whopper. Unsynchronized. Well, there we go. So, um, and that's us, we're set up. So, ah, it gives you exactly what's on the network straight away and the speed. So I've got two online devices right now. And it's one out of three networking routers. Two out of three networking routers now, so it's obviously connecting up. 
taking a wee while, and now we've got three. So that's us, we're all set up. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, speed test here. And see what speeds we're getting. Very fast ping. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I've got a funny feeling that I'm connected to the one downstairs. So let's try that again. Okay, let's. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to disconnect. Oh, I see. We've got double whopper 2.4G now and double whopper. Interesting. Let's turn off the Wi Fi and turn it back on again. Interesting. Okay, that's not good. That's only T. Okay, so I'm connected to that, but it's at 2.4 gigahertz. Why is it only 2.4 gigahertz? Oh, I'm just wondering. I've got a funny feeling. I've got a, I've got a feeling that this is using the new technology by Apple. So it's gonna. I'm gonna. Basically, it's a new technology that. Ah, oh, here we are. No, we're back. That's us. No, we're here. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was going to use the technology of using the 5G when it only connects to a certain um, bandwidth if it really needs a heavy, um, you know, if it's actually needing like, a, like gaming or something, or you're just going to be doing something light, then it would just uh, connect uh, to the speed that you require. No, nope, 378, I'm talking absolute nonsense. 378, so there we go. It's all, it takes a wee while for these things to set up occasionally. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna use this for a few weeks and uh, I'm gonna get back to you uh, and tell you and show you my findings, really, once I get to, to grips with this.